Welcome to Time and Talk. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It really helps the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about a subject that probably a lot of us have thought about in the watch collecting world, which is smartwatches and fitness trackers. And are they worth buying, really? And, and, and should we buy one? So first of all, just a quick definition. A smartwatch is basically a computer on your wrist where you can receive notifications, you can use apps, you can perhaps browse photos. Whereas a fitness tracker tells you something about your biometric data. So it might track your sleep, it might track your steps, it might tell you how long you've run. And that's the basic difference between them. I'm focusing on two particular models really. The Apple Watch, which is obviously the industry standard, the biggest selling smartwatch in the world. Apparently in 2007, and perhaps the data might still hold today, the Apple Watch actually sells more watches than the Swiss watch industry combined, which is absolutely insane really. And it raises the question, should we be, we be buying them? Should we be supporting the Swiss watch industry a bit more if we feel it needs our support? And the other one is the Garmin 245 Music. And there's a reason really that I've chose those two models. In terms of smartwatches and fitness trackers and my own opinion on them, basically I think in terms of general wear, I don't think I would wear one. I think, and this is just my opinion and what I think about them, I think in terms of wearing them generally to the office or for a night out or whatever, they just don't look very good. I think that's the problem with smartwatches and fitness trackers. I think they clash with a lot of outfits, they don't look particularly elegant, and the designs, not really the Apple Watch, but the designs generally of fitness trackers, particularly Fitbits and things like that, are just not very nice looking. They're a bit blocky, they look plasticky, and things like that. I think in terms of, for me, in terms of having a, a watch, if you like, for general wear, it would not be a smartwatch or a fitness tracker. Personally, I don't particularly understand things like Tag Heuer's connected watch as well. You know, why buy uh, a smartwatch that costs a thousand quid, 1500 quid, that you can actually get cheaper from another brand that probably does a better job of making one as well. You know, people like Garmin, people like Samsung probably make better smartwatches than Tag because that's what they do. I'm guessing they outsource their technology and stuff, but you know, I think where smartwatches kind of come into their own are when you actually do use them for a purpose. So for example, fitness. So you guys might go to the gym, you might run, you might do a certain activity. The fitness trackers or smartwatches are actually useful for using. And I think in terms of the Apple Watch, when it's on series five now, the Apple Watch, and when it, um, series three, it became really, really useful because you could use it for music without your phone. So basically, you could go for a run, you could leave your phone at home and you could still listen to music. And I think that's really important for particularly runners because you know phones nowadays are so huge that it's a good idea to be able to leave it at home. And that's where these fitness trackers and smartwatches started to come into their own a little bit more for people who did want to go running or want to use these as a kind of tool for for you know fitness in the same way as that a dive watch is it is a tool for diving. I think that's another thing that both of these models that I've identified actually do. So the Garmin 245 music, you can download music to it and you can listen to your music without your phone and obviously track your fitness and things like that. And that's the same with the Apple Watch. You can track how far you've run, track your heart rate, etc., etc., And also, you know, you can listen to your music. I think that's the, the only reason really for me why I would buy a fitness watch slash spot smartwatch because I don't really see them as watches in the same way you know the Rolex Explorer 21470 it's not the same as that for me um, this is something with history it's something that for me looks good 
with various things. Whereas for me, smartwatches, fitness trackers have one kind of clear purpose in, in my life, which is tracking a run whilst listening to music. That's pretty much the only reason that I would buy one. I think, as I said, wearing them for everyday wear, I've got nothing against smartwatches per se, because what we could say is that are they just the latest iteration of a tool watch? You know, because obviously technology, when mechanical watches were developed, was about producing a tool for a particular industry or a particular role. That's what we're doing now with smartwatches, with quartz watches. But I just don't like the way they look. I just don't appreciate their aesthetics. The technology is clearly useful. And as some people have said who I've watched videos on about this subject, if you want a watch that's the most accurate, that's the most useful, that's got the most features, it's kind of a no-brainer really. And a smartwatch is the go-to because it clearly has more functions, more use than um, a mechanical watch. It's, it's just one of those <laughs> of obvious points. I think as well, in terms of Apple Watches, smartwatches, I don't need another device that's gonna connect me to the internet because I already <laughs> go on the internet too much. I, you know, surf the uh, surf YouTube and surf surf the web in a way that's probably not the healthiest. So I don't want it, another device on my wrist which tells me every time I've got a notification. I think that's that's unhealthy and it's something that particularly for me, I don't think would be a good um, thing to to have in my life really. I think another point with smartwatches as well. Once when I was preparing for a video and I didn't actually make the video in the end, I was thinking about the value of an Apple Watch as against the, the Rolex Explorer 21470. I actually ended up working out the price per wear of an Apple Watch and the, the Explorer, assuming that I kept the Explorer forever. Um, because the obviously with Apple products, they slow down after a certain time, you have to replace them. Pretty soon they're unsupported by a computer and things like that. And the Explorer is actually cheaper on a per wear basis. So, you know, if you're thinking, uh, a smartwatch is cheaper, perhaps it will be more affordable, perhaps it will be better value. That's not necessarily the case, to be honest. So in, in terms of the subject, smartwatches, fitness trackers, do they have a place as a kind of watch collector? I think they do, but only in very, very certain circumstances. So again, this is my own opinion. It's not something, I'm not condemning people who like smartwatches, but I think that for me, I would consider buying one purely for using as a tool when I exercise, purely certain models that you can use um, without your phone and, and listen to music on them. That's the main purpose that I would use them. I don't really think they look, look very nice. I wouldn't wear them for general wear. Certainly wouldn't wear them in, in dress situations, which you see some people people doing. Um, so so yeah, so tell me what you think. Do you like smartwatches? Do you think they're a travesty? They're not real watches? Or do you think, you know, like me, they, they have a purpose? Or do you think that, you know, you can wear a smartwatch whenever you want and, and for everyday wear? Tell me what you think. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.